What I'm looking at here, this is Jupiter, and these are the moons of Jupiter, and I'm trying to look at the collimation. If we look at that one there, you can see that on this side it's got more light, and on that side it's got less light, so my collimation is off a little bit. One of the big issues with this classical cascarine is the huge long focal length. And my job now is to try and adjust this so that the collimation is spot on. And this is going to be a real challenge. So I don't want to destroy what's already there. Because it's not too far off, but it's still bad enough not to be collimated. So I'm going to try and get this collimated now. tweaking it, if we look now, if we compare those moon shapes now, all of that is heat dissipating because the scope hasn't cooled down. So in about an hour or so that will be perfect, but I think that collimation is already better. Just a few little tweaks and I'm going to see if I can get my focus now and get those pin sharp. So I'll just refocus. There we go, so there's Jupiter, three of the moons, and it looks like the collimation's pretty good now. So let's reduce the exposure time and see if we can see the bands on Jupiter. Jupiter. I 
I've reframed the telescope and it's now tracking one of the most bonkers planets in our solar system. There's a bit of Saturn. Let's just move Saturn up a bit. So here's a quick video of Saturn. <laughs> 